Hello guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, um, I'm gonna show you what you should do after you uh, followed my first video, SSD upgrade on MacBook Pro A1502. So if you've done everything in that video, then you must watch this video. I have here a list of the things I wanna show you today, plus maybe a little bit more than that, but these are the main two things that I want to show you guys that will help your laptop with a sleep mode, you'll be able to use the sleep mode just as you was before and the second will fix so you can restart your laptop whether you want to restart it or whether you're doing an upgrade on App Store of your um, Mac OS or something else and then the computer will restart by itself usually after the first video I showed you guys it doesn't restart uh, we'll go go ahead and fix that today. Go on your launch launch pad uh, and go to um, let's see, go to other and open. Let's go ahead and um, type in pm set dot space dash g. This will show us the power ses system power settings. All right. So I have made a few changes, but. For, for to show you guys, I'm going to um, restore them to default. In order to do that, I'm going to go right here. This is all the settings for PM set and what do they mean. All right. Um, I need to um, default by default let's see i need to change it to default mm. okay here we go so restore defaults restore energy set saver setting to their default values all right so this is what i'm going to type restore default so i'm going to open this one i'm going to type sudo pm set restore together defaults all right, hit enter, password. All right, now all those settings were restored to uh, default. Now go ahead and type in or uh, scroll up PM set space dash G, hit enter. All right, so these are the default settings. Number one that we're gonna look at is hibernation mode. You see, it's um, it says on value three right now. With hibernation mode three, your laptop does not revive from the sleep mode. So let's go ahead and I'll show you guys what you guys need to type in order to make it work. So you need to type in this uh, terminal the following command which is sudo pm set hibernate mode space 25 hit enter all right so now let's check if it was changed type in pm set space dash g all right so let's look right here hibernate mode 25 all right so it's changed to 25 now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this um sleep mode right here i'm going to put my laptop to sleep manually so I don't have to wait for all that 10 minutes before you go to sleep and so, so let's put it to sleep and see if it's going to work all right so let's wake up the laptop we'll press the space bar all right so there it is the laptop came back now you can do more testing and see but I'm pretty sure it works last time I did this the laptop just went with a question folder in the middle so click here and do sleep now and let's leave it for a little bit and see when it's gonna wake up is it gonna do the same thing or not so we'll give we'll we'll give it five minutes but until then I'm gonna play the game all right guys so it's been what like seven minutes already so let me wake him up all right there's no nothing all right there's 
the screen came on, but there was nothing. No wake up. It doesn't show anything. I put him to sleep and it's gone from sleep. It's just a... Uh, I can see the screen is lit, but nothing shows up. Nothing. Alright, so here we go. I guess it res this means it doesn't find where to boot from, so we're just gonna turn it off. It's turned off, and we'll turn it back on. Come on, Apple logo. Oopsie, nothing comes up. Nope. Alright, let's turn it off again. Here where the sleep mode messes up. Okay, let's turn it on and press Alt Option. And there it is, Mac OS. Okay. So let's click here. Yes, it restarted because of a problem. And there is Apple. And there we go. The progress bar is filling up. Alright, so once we're done with the Hibernate Mode 25, you'll be able to use your sleep mode. The hibernation mode is done. Uh, let's go to the second fix, um, <clears throat> the restart issue, that in order to fix the restart issue, you need to type this this sentence in your terminal, whether, whether before you install your Mac or after installation, it's fine. So just go ahead and type sudo nvram space enable dash legacy dash o roam dash behavior behavior equals one and hit enter and then type in your password and hit enter all right so once you typed in this sentence it's been saved there Let's go ahead and restart the laptop and see what happens. So, restart. Alright, there we go, the sound. The Apple logo is there. And it's booting, it's loading. It's all load up. Um, all right, so let's go type in the password. All right, so once we typed in um, the fix for the restart, let's go ahead and restart it um, five times and see if it's working. So this is gonna be the first time. There you go, it's loading. All right, it load up. Now let's do a restart right from, from this menu right here on the bottom. Let's do a restart. All right, let's do it. All right, we got the sound, we got the apple, and we got the loading progress bar. Okay, let's log in and let's let's open a web page. And let's open uh, Google. All right. Um, let's 
close this Google and let's do another restart this is gonna be the third restart all right the screen is off the sound is on we got the logo we got the progress bar so after the first video that I showed you how to upgrade your SSD, the restart did not work and the sleep mode did not work. So obviously right now the restart works and the sleep mode works. Let's go ahead and click on this sleep um, icon right here and let's give it a few minutes. Let's give it what a minute or two and um, we'll see if it's going to wake up after, after that. So we'll give it one minute. Okay, one minute has passed. I will press the space bar once on the laptop and there you have it. It came back. Now let's type in the password. Alright, so it's logging in from the sleep mode, it's restarting properly. Now you're going to ask me, probably you're going to ask me a question, what's going on with the fan, right? Well, let me tell you about the fan. So after I, I upgraded to um, the SSD, I wanted to see the temperature of the CPU. So I downloaded this um, app. Let me see if I can tell you the name of the app. It's called Max Fan Control. I like it, it's free and it's very simple. So it, it will show you right here in, in the in the taskbar. It will show me the CPU uh, temperature and the RPMs. Now show Mac fan controls. Alright, so what I did uh, on auto setting right here if we put auto the fan is just gonna look so it shows zero it doesn't spin at all it's 50 degrees right now let's open uh, let's say um, iMovie and let's see how the temperature changes so it goes up to 65 70 it's still zero 75 is still zero and all of a sudden from 75 the CPU drops to 61 so I don't know what is what is the problem why is the CPU like changing the the temperature so fast from a higher to a lower but anyways look 60 degrees Celsius the CPU has right and it's not spinning at all when on a regular PC the fan still spins whether even if it's like 30 Celsius it will still spin here this one is 60 it's, it's hot and it will still be at zero. I don't know what's going on. So I like this app. I would recommend it, especially if you will go to the uh, preferences and just um, put this setting sensor based value and choose your CPU core one, and then put it between at 50 for the spin to start increase and at 90 for your fan to uh, spin 100%. You wanna keep your laptop as cool as you can just because Apple put it at zero RPMs when your laptop is 50 or 60 that is just not normal because on a regular PC your fan runs all the time at least four five six hundred RPMs and your temperature is like 35 or 40 and it still runs so on laptop you should run it more because of a smaller chip, smaller heatsink, smaller fan so you want to make sure your CPU is as cool as possible of course if noise is a concern for you then that's a different problem but I rather have a little bit of fan noise rather than having running hot sometimes it goes up to 90 and 100 if I do it, if I let the MacBook run on auto setting right here, but since I'm running this, I know the fan makes a lot of noise at 5,000 RPMs, like a lot of noise. But I rather keep it cool if I'm editing a video or something rather than um, 
having it run hot that's not good all right so done with the fan let me close this let me close uh, actually I'm not gonna close this uh, somebody asked me about the battery life they were concerned how is it lasting so I did a test I didn't film it but I did a test I put it on I charged it to a hundred percent so I had my um, Safari YouTube video I was playing video music video like right now so I had it run like this with the screen on it did not go to sleep no other apps were open just Safari with YouTube playing video music and my um, my battery was charged a hundred percent so I let it play until the laptop would eventually die so it was 16 percent left when I looked at my laptop and everything was running on 50 percent sound no uh, keyboard lights on just the screen the music at 50 percent over Wi-Fi so it ran for three hours and 45 minutes it was down to 16 percent after that I didn't let it run because I was um, I think I didn't have time to um, be around the laptop but three hours and 45 minutes from a hundred percent to 16 percent so that is something okay for me I don't know about you guys but I I thought I would share that with you all right after 16 percent it probably would have lasted longer I'm not sure how much let's run this test again Let's see, 1080, one gigabyte on the Macintosh, start. All right, so there you go, you got the speed. Even we enabled, um, I mean the second, even with this, we still get the same speed as before we enabled it. So I think it's pretty good. It works fine, I'm happy with it. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope um, this will help you with your uh, problems and please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much.